Hey guys, we're back on the channel for a special tutorial focused on advanced anime rendering settings in Blender. Today, we're going to delve into the nuances of rendering, covering essential settings for lighting, camera, freestyle, alpha output format, and composition. If you're ready to bring your characters to life in anime style, let's get started. First of all, let's configure the light. Start by adjusting your lighting settings. Experiment with different types of light, such as ambient light, key light, and fill light. Adjust the intensity and color to create the desired atmosphere. Remember, in anime, light plays a crucial role in setting the mood of the scene. In my case, I'm using sun type light and using contact shadows. More refined adjustments were also made to the light to obtain an acceptable result. Set up the camera to capture the best angles of your scene. Experiment with different focal lengths to get the effect you want. Animate the camera position to add dynamism to your animation. For the camera, I set it in perspective and the focal length was set at 200.0 mm to eliminate distortion. Other adjustments were made to better visualize the character in the scene. Freestyle was activated for rendering, and solidification contouring was deactivated. Explore freestyle settings to add outlines to your characters. Adjust the width and color of the outlines to achieve an authentic anime style. Remember to experiment until you find the setting that best suits your vision. Configure the output format to include alpha information. This is crucial to preserve the contours and allow for easy composition later. Choose a format that supports transparency, such as PNG. Or if you prefer, you can also render in video format directly with the alpha channel. To do this, choose the FFmpeg video option. In the encoding tab, choose QuickTime. In video codec, choose the PNG option to preserve transparency. Get into compositing and add post-production effects. Use nodes to adjust brightness, contrast, and colors. Add depth of field effects if necessary. Compositing is where your animation really comes to life, so feel free to get creative here. In my case, I just used a simple setting so that the eyebrow is on top of the hair. Keyframe adjustments may be necessary. In Blender, the Dope Sheet is a powerful tool for working with animations, and interpolation modes play a crucial role in the smoothness and behavior of transitions between keyframes. There are three main interpolation modes. Linear, linear interpolation in this mode. The transition between keyframes is direct and linear. This means there is no acceleration or deceleration, resulting in constant and uniform movements. Bezier, bezier interpolation bezier mode allows for smooth interpolation curves, giving you control over the speed of entry and exit of keyframes. This enables more organic transitions, allowing detailed adjustments to animation curves. Constant, constant interpolation in constant mode. There is no interpolation between keyframes. This means that the animation changes instantly from one frame to the next, without smoothing. It is useful for creating animations with sharp and sudden changes. When working with the dope sheet, choosing the appropriate interpolation mode depends on the desired effect. Experiment and adjust these modes to get the fluidity you want in your animation. Finally, adjust the start and end in the timeline. This value will be the rendering time in frames. In this case, I am rendering with a frame rate equal to anime, which is 23.98. Now we are ready to render our anime. In the menu, we have the function to render the animation. We're using the shortcut keys control plus F12. Now just wait until the rendering completes. As it is being rendered with freestyle activated, the rendering process will take a long time. Even on computers with better processors with more cores, it can take around 8 seconds per frame. Taking into account the active modifiers, surface subdivision, data transfer, or normal edit, solidify, and others. After being edited and doing all the special effects and after effects, we have this incredible result.
And that's it, folks. I hope these tips have been useful to you. Now you have the tools to create your own anime style animations using Blender. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Until next time. And here it is, everyone. Now you have the advanced settings to render anime style animations in Blender. Remember to experiment and adjust the settings to suit your creative vision. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. To the next.